And we welcome you back this morning. This morning we're talking about something called perinatal depression. That is when depression hits during pregnancy or during the first year after childbirth. So what is perinatal depression and how do you know if you have it and whether you're feeling normal pregnancy changes or it could be something more serious? We welcome Dr. Sonali Jane, OBGYN at SSM Health Medical Group. And good morning to you. Good morning. We were talking about last time we were outside with masks on. So nice to see you in person again. Thank All right. you for having First me. of all, perinatal depression. Some folks may say I've never heard of that. We've heard of postpartum. What is it? Define it. So people don't talk about it much. Yes, postpartum depression is what is known more. Perinatal depression, as you rightly pointed, is the depression during pregnancy and the first year of childbirth. All right. So what percentage of women who are pregnant get this? So it is one of the most common medical problems in pregnancy and sometimes not addressed properly. It can affect almost one in seven women. So it's a big number. Wow. It's a big number. And we know there are so many changes physically, emotionally. It's the hormones. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I can't sleep. How do we know it, whether it's something more serious or whether it's just normal pregnancy changes? So that is very true. Pregnancy symptoms can just mask the symptoms of depression. Um, just mood swings, feeling tired, going to the bathroom and not able to sleep at night. And sometimes you're like, oh, these are just normal yeah. things. But the things to look for and the things to talk to your doctor about are if you're having increased crying spells, um, not uh, feeling pleasure in activities that you used to feel pleasure and not enjoying activities as well, um, not able to sleep or not uh, or trying to fall asleep but uh, waking up too often, um, increased anxiety, not able to connect to your pregnancy or your developing baby mm -hmm. Not or, excited about or your it. new baby. Um, so some of the, those are some of the things uh, that your doctor will ask for or you need to tell your doctor yeah, about. Yeah, you have a lot of visits during pregnancy, yes. so it's a time to bring this stuff yes. up. If somebody was suffering from depression prior to becoming pregnant, are they more susceptible to get this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, they're more susceptible. Um, and that brings me sometimes to talking about medications that we're taking if they were trying to get pregnant. Oh. And so some medications that they may be on when they're not pregnant may not be safe while pregnant. So those are discussions that they need to ha be having with their doctor. Yeah, uh, there has to be a lot of dialogue. If they're I can, trying for pregnancy. I can yes. see why this could be confusing. Yes. If confusing. So if somebody at home is watching and said, she just described me. What do we do next? What's the next step? Next step is talking to your OBGYN. As you said, there are so many visits in pregnancy. Sometimes bringing these up during those visits, or sometimes you need to make a separate visit to discuss these symptoms and not ignore them. Yeah, and don't be shy about talking about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yes. Nobody should blame themselves. Nobody should feel alone. Uh, there are a lot of resources available, and those resources should be used. Um, SSM has a STL Moms line, which uh, caters to the pregnant uh, women and new moms. Um, and then DePaul has a behavioral health urgent care which can be used in uh, events of a crisis. So yeah, it's, it's resources really, are available. Really evolved. So thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. And if you'd like to tap into some of the resources the doctor mentioned, we'll have a link for you on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app.